In this video, I'm going to be showing a new way of dealing with binomial expansions with what I call the naughty calculus. And it's a quick uh, method, and um, I, it's, it's never taught, and I, I've never realised why, um, why it's not. I'll show you how the system works. Um, let's say that we have um, to expand two plus 3x to the power of 4. Now here the power is a positive integer and the method I will be showing is equally applicable to cases where the power here is either negative or a fraction or a negative fraction. It, it, it doesn't matter. And the way it works is that we first set down the first term to the power and we're going to multiply that by the second term to the power of 0. And we've got the, the first term here. Now the second term is got by differentiating 2 to the power of 4. Um, what, I, uh, what I mean by naughty calculus is that this 2 is being treated as a differ, differentiable uh, entity. So we put um, we differentiate 2 to the power of 4 and get 4 times 2 to the power of 3. And then we integrate the second term, treating that as an integrable uh, entity. And so that's 3x to the power of 1 over 1. <clears throat> and then we just continue in the same, uh, same manner. We differentiate this, which gives 3 times 4 times 2 to the power of 2 times and we integrate this uh, part which will be 3x to the power of 2 over 2. And then we continue again we get uh, differentiate this we get 2 times 3 times 4 times 2 to the power of 1 and we integrate this which will be 3x to the power of 3 over 2 times 3. And uh, one more step, we'll, we differentiate the first term, we get 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 2 to the power of 0. And then we integrate uh, this, uh, we get 3x to the power of 4 over 2 times 3 times 4. And then all that's left to be done is to simplify this. So we get, uh, this is 1, and we get 2 to the power of 4, which is 16, <clears throat> plus, here we've got uh, 8 times 4, um, <clears throat> which is 32, uh, times uh, 3, which gives 96x. Here we can uh, get uh, this 9 times uh, 3 is 27, and then we can cancel one of these 2s with this one. So it becomes 27 times uh, 8, which is 216. So we get 216x squared. And here we can simplify this, like so. And here we've got 3 cubed, which is 27 times 8, which again is 216x cubed, plus. And we can cancel out here, like so. This is 1 and we get 3 to the power of 4, which is 81. We get 81x to the power of 4. Now, although this may not be so advantageous when this uh, power is positive integer, the method really comes into its own when dealing with uh, negative and fractional powers, as will be seen. So for the next example, we'll look at finding the binomial expansion for one over 1 plus x, which we can write as 1 plus x to the power of minus 1. And it's exactly the same method. We set down the first term to this power, multiplied by the second term to the power of 0. And we differentiate the first and integrate the second. So differentiating this of minus 1 times 1 to the power of minus 2 and integrating here we get x to the power of 1 
um, let's say that we just want um, the first uh, three terms, okay? Because these are uh, um, infinite expansions. Um, so we differentiate this, we get plus minus 2 times minus 1 times 1 to the power of minus 3, and then we get x to the power of 2 over 2 plus etc. Um, the first term here is 1. The second term will be, we look at the signs first, it's minus. And we get 1 times 1 times x, which is just x. And over here we get minus times minus, which is a plus. And we get 2 over 2, they cancel. And we're just left with 1 times 1 times x squared, which is x squared. Now what's good about this um, also is that when we have an example like 2 minus x to the power of minus 2, the conventional system requires this 2 to be factored out so that we have a 1. However, with this uh, calculus method, we don't need to do that. We can just leave it there. So let's suppose we need the first uh, four terms of this expansion. Um, we can write down 2 to the power of minus 2. And the second term is minus x to the power of 0. Note that this minus sign has to be kept inside uh, the brackets. And then it all works out well. So we differentiate 2 to the power of minus 2. and get minus 2 times 2 to the power of minus 3. Integrate this, we get minus x to the power of 1. For the third term, we differentiate this. We get minus 3 times minus 2 times 2 to the power of minus 4. Integrate this, we get x to the power of minus x squared over 2. And one more term. Differentiate, we get minus 4 times minus 3 times minus 2 times 2 to the power of minus 5. And then integrate this to give minus x cubed all over 2 times 3. And then we can just simplify. Um, this uh, 2 to the power of minus 2 times 1 is 1 quarter. Here we've got a minus times a minus, so we've got plus. And then we've got um, 2 over 2 cubed. And that'll be 2 squared, so that's x over 4. Here we've got minus times minus times another 2 minuses is, again, a plus. Um, one of these 2's can cancel, and we get uh, 3 over 16 x squared. Um, over here we've got six minus signs, three here and three here. So again we get plus. And we can cancel these uh, numbers. And we will land up with 4 over uh, 32, which is 1 eighth. So it's x cubed over 8. And we're finished. Now let's have a look at... Um, an expansion with a negative fraction. Um, let's say we want to find 4 plus 9 x to the power of minus 1 half. So as before we set down the first term to the power of minus a half and the second term to the power of 0. And then we can uh, differentiate this, so we get plus minus a half times 4 to the power of minus 3 over 2. Integrate the second term is 9x to the power of 1. Um, and the next term we differentiate, so we get minus 3 over 2 times minus 1 over 2 times 4 to the power of minus 5 over 2 and integrate here we get 9x squared over 2 plus etc more terms and on simplifying here we'll get uh, 4 to the power of minus a half is is 1 over 2 so the first term is just 
one half because this 9x to the power of 0 is 1. And then we have um, minus, there's one minus sign here, this 4 over um, 4 to the power of minus 3 over 2 is 1 over 8, and that times 2 is 16, so it's 9 sixteenths x. Here we've got minus times minus is a plus. And this works out to be um, 9 squared is 81 times 3 is 243. And underneath we'll have um, 4 to the power of minus 5 over 2 is 1 over 32 uh, times um, 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Uh, that'll give 256x squared plus etc. And again, note that we didn't have to uh, create a 1 here. We can just move straight from uh, the first two terms and continue the, the sequence. And we might summarize this with, the, with a formula, which we might, we might write as um, uh, a plus b to the power of n is equal to the sum of, from r is 0 up to n of uh, dr of a to the power of n times ir of b to the power of 0 where d subscript r is the rth derivative of a to the power of n and i subscript r is the rth integral of b to the power of 0. And certainly, uh, certainly by comparison with the Maclaurin series formula, <clears throat> this is very much uh, easier to remember because um, we're just doing two things. You just Once you've set down the first two terms, you're just then differentiating, integrating, differentiating, integrating, um, which both of which algebraically are very simple processes. So um, this is, a, a, I think, an excellent way of getting binomial expansions, particularly when dealing with negative uh, powers or, or fractions. So there we are.